Hello everyone. Today in this video we will see what is one line diagram or it is also called as single line diagram. Single line diagram. And we will discuss about the reactance diagram and per unit values. Okay, let us see first what is one line diagram. So, the definition of one line diagram is a diagram showing the interconnection of various components of a symmetrical balanced three phase power system by standard symbols on a single phase basis. So, one line diagram is a diagram which shows you the interconnection of various components which is there in the power system and of a system which is symmetrical and balanced because for a unbalanced and a non symmetrical system we cannot write single line diagram. So, a one line diagram can be drawn for a balanced and symmetrical three phase power system and it shows you the interconnection of various component and it is always uh, on a single phase basis ok. And this is also known as single line diagram. So, before we start writing one line diagram we need to know uh, various symbols for uh, the components of the power system. Let us discuss about the symbols of that is actually standard symbol. So, standard symbols of various components of power system various components of power system. So, we know that uh, the most important components of power systems are rotating machineries. So, normally these rotating machineries will be represented rotating machines will be represented or the symbols of these are with a circle like this. If it is a generator we represent it uh, with the G and uh, uh, alternating symbol like this or if it is a motor we represent M here and with the alternating symbol. So, this is for rotating machines and the second important component of the power system is transformer. So, we take a two winding transformer. two winding transformer. So, the symbol for two winding transformer is, so you can just show the two windings that is primary and secondary winding of the transformer like this. So, this is the symbol for two winding transformer and the next is we have transmission line. So, for transmission line And for transmission line, the single which is uh, symbol which is used in single line diagram is this is straight line. So, this is for transmission line. And for circuit breakers, circuit breakers we use either a small box like this or it is a cross symbol like this. So, wherever circuit breakers are there, so we can represent it with these symbols. Then next is uh, current transformer. So, for current transformer that is CT we use like this. So, this is for current transformer and for PT that is potential transformer you can use uh, like this or you can use a symbol like this. So, this is for current transformer and this is for potential transformer. Now, uh, in order to represent the connection of winding, we need to either tell whether it is a, a, a delta connected system or star connected system. So, the representation for that or the symbol used for these are for a three phase delta connected system, delta connected system we use symbol like this for three phase star connected system connected system we use this symbol and uh, this symbol is for neutral ungrounded
and if it is three phase star connected star connected neutral solidly grounded solidly grounded then we use symbol which is given by this this is uh, three phase star connected solidly grounded neutral and similarly three phase star connected neutral grounded through a reactor grounded through a reactor so we can use uh, the symbol for that so star connected and the neutral of this will be grounded through a reactor similarly if it is a grounded through star connected three phase uh, star connected neutral grounded through a resistor then we can use star with a uh, neutral grounded through resistor so these are the basic symbols which are used in the uh, single line diagram which we are going to study now and let me show one simple single line diagram before that um, this uh, we have used transmission line uh, symbol as a straight line so for the bus bar also we can use the same like similar way but a vertical line we can use for uh, bus bar I said you what a single line diagram and uh, one line diagram or one line diagram or single line diagram both stands for same thing so we'll see one simple example for this so let me take uh, one generator which is connected so I have to show with the symbol generator symbol and I'm saying uh, the generator neutral is solidly grounded so let me take this symbol for this and it is understood a generator whose neutral is solidly grounded and immediately after this we have a bus bar but before this we have a circuit breaker over here and over this uh, over this side and next to the generator I need to uh, just put a transformer so let me show the symbol of this so transformer will be of the symbol and you can show this transformer primary and secondary uh, winding connections also if it is delta let us show with delta if it is star you can show it with star or if it is grounded or ungrounded you can represent it with the symbol so this is for transformer let me take this for transformer one and uh, after transformer uh, one more circuit breaker and after this uh, I'll take a transmission line so transmission line is just a straight line so we have represented with the straight line next again one more circuit breaker and uh, one more transformer with the uh, the connections that is uh, star grounded with the delta and there is one more circuit breaker and the at the end we have one more bus bar and the load let me take the load as motor motor and also I need to tell uh, the grounding of the neutral of the load that is motor so let me take through the reactor so this is a single line diagram so simple single line diagram where we have generator and bus bar circuit breaker so this is bus bar and this these are circuit breakers CBs and this is transmission line and we have transformer T1 T2 and we have circuit breakers in between here and this is also bus bar and load which is motor motor and here it is generator now each of these devices or symbols represents the components of the system and also when we do the analysis of the power system all these components rating has to be mentioned so the normally uh, just for an example I'm saying this so normally generators will be rated in terms of MVA so let me take uh, for example the generator here is given G1 or only G here only one generator is there so G1 this will be represented with its 
MVA, let me take the MVA value as 300 MVA and the KV rating of this. So, let me take the KV rating of this as 20 KV and also the reactance value. So, reactance value, let me take X is equal to uh, 1.2 ohm or something like this. So, this is the reactance value. So, just for an example, so uh, similarly we have to tell the ratings of the transformers. So, T1 and T2, there are two transformers. So, let us give the ratings, example ratings. So, let me take T1 is 350 MVA and uh, the voltage rating of this since the transformer is having two voltages on primary and secondary side. So, I have to represent both here in the rating. So, it is a 230 volt star bar 20 kVA, uh, 20 kV delta sorry 20 kV delta and reactance value of the transformer x is equal to say 15 ohm per phase per phase. So, here uh, you can see this is MVA rating of the transformer and here the voltages are given. So, you have to decide which side is 230 volt and which side is uh, 20 kV. By looking at the connections you can identify or looking at the low voltage or high voltage side you can decide. Now, this is 230 volt star, 230 volt star is this side. So, star is this side. So, 230 volt is this side and 20 kV is this side. So, it is 20 kV, okay, delta. So, T2 transformer has a rating. Let me take example, 300 MVA is the rating of, rating MVA of T2 and similarly, we have 230 volt star 13.2 kV delta and X is equal to 15 ohm per phase. Here similarly 13.2 kV delta is the side since it is delta and here it is 230 volt, 230 volt and uh, next we have a uh, transmission line. So, transmission line rating will be normally given in terms of length of the transmission line. So, let me take length of the transmission line as 50 kilometer and uh, the reactance value of the transmission line will be given. So, let me take transmission line reactance value as 0.5 ohm per kilometer. So, this is given per kilometer. So, total we have to calculate how much is the reactance for this length. That is 0.5 into 50 gives you the total reactance value of the transmission line. Now, next what we have is uh, motor ratings. So, motor ratings will be similar to the motor ratings will be similar to the generator ratings. So, uh, let me take uh, 200 MVA. So, this is the MVA rating of motor, given motor and we have to tell what is the voltage rating. So, uh, it will be uh, normally all these datas will be given in the questions. So, the 10 point and also the reactance value. So, x will be equal to 1.6 ohm, something like this. So, this is just a sample uh, data for the single line diagram given. So, these are required for the calculation whereas, circuit breaker data or other data are not necessary for us to do the calculation. Let us see what is impedance and reactance diagram now. So, in single line diagram we have seen this tells you about only the components which are present in the um, power system. So, to do the analysis or to know the short circuit analysis or to calculate voltages at different points or currents at different points in the system, we basically need the circuit of the system or the complete system. So, from the single line diagram, uh, if we write the single phase equivalent circuit of the complete system, that gives us impedance diagram. So, impedance diagram is basically replacing all the components, replacing all the components of components of single line diagram with single line diagram 
with their single phase equivalent circuit single phase equivalent circuit so for the same single line diagram let me write uh, the impedance diagram we have seen individually for each component how to write a single phase equivalent diagram in the previous video so let uh, let us uh, use that concept here so uh, in the single line diagram or in one line diagram we have first element as generator so let me write the single phase equivalent circuit of this so we know that the single phase equivalent circuit of generator will be uh, impedance which can be given by this with the emf so let me uh, tell this as eg so this is the uh, this is the impedance of the generator this is the impedance of the generator so you can represent as that zg zg so we have uh, uh, replaced the generator with the equivalent circuit next we have here circuit breaker is not necessary for us so bus bar bus bar uh, we have the voltage level there that's it so here next element is transformer so let us write the transformer equivalent circuit so transformer equivalent circuit so we have the primary reactance and res uh, resistance and we have excitation circuit it is the resistance and reactance and the secondary resistance and reactance so this stands for or uh, this part of the circuit is for transformer t1 next we have uh, the transmission line and we know that for transmission line it is a pi network so let me include that pi network or single phase equivalent so we have uh, one y by 2 and the impedance value that is series impedance and at one more end we have one more shunt admittance so this is for transmission line then we have again one more uh, uh, transformer we have one more transformer so let me write the equivalent circuit of that similar to this so primary side with the leakage or with the excitation circuit and we have secondary so this is for transformer then uh, at the end we have motor again so for motor we have uh, similar to uh, the generator circuit so impedance and the emf that is em em so let me again brief this so this is a generator single phase equivalent circuit for generator so let me show this with g generator then immediately after this till here we have a transformer that is t1 then after that from here to here we have transmission line transmission line then after that we have uh, again transformer t2 then at the end we have motor m so this is known as impedance diagram why this is impedance diagram because we will be uh, replacing all the components with their single phase equivalent circuit where the circuit includes impedance and also the voltage if any okay so this is impedance diagram let us see now what is a, a res, uh, reactance diagram so we have seen impedance diagram so we'll see what is reactance diagram next so next is reactance diagram so we have written impedance diagram here so if we avoid these resistors which is present in the impedance diagram these resistors all these resistors and also the excitation circuit or mag magnetization circuit along with the shunt capacitors then we call such diagram as reactance diagram so reactance diagram is only with the reactance values of all the components and also the 
EMMs of the system. So, let me write the reactance diagram for the given uh, written uh, impedance diagram. So, we have one reactance over here. So, let me write uh, that a reactance and the EMF that is for EG and we have a reactance over here and this side there is one more re reactance. Since I am avoiding these or eliminating or omitting these, this magnetizing circuit, I can combine these two together. So, I can represent it with the one reactance here for transformer. So, this is for generator. So, let me write this as Xg, this is Eg and this is for T1 Xt1 that is for reactance transformer 1. Then for a transmission line, I have to uh, neglect these uh, shunt capacitors and also the resistors. So, the remaining is only this reactance in series with this. So, we have a reactance. Let me take this as XTL which is nothing but reactance of transmission line. Then for the other transformer also will be avoiding or uh, will be eliminating these resistors and the excitation circuit. So, we have only reactance value in series. So, this is like this. So, this is XT2. And finally, we have for the motor only reactance and the EMF. EM. So, this is a simple reactance diagram given for the one line diagram which we had written earlier. So, now uh, is there any effect of omitting resistors and magnetizing circuit? No, uh, actually when we do the analysis, um, the, there is least effect of uh, uh, these resistors and the magnetization circuit because we will be anyways converting the complete system into the per unit value and also these resistors are very very small compared to the reactance values. So, there will not be much effect on the values what we calculate by the analysis. So, reactance diagram will be very very easy or useful for us to do the analysis to calculate current, voltage or short circuit current, fault current or power anything. Okay. So, this is reacting diagram, reactance diagram. So, you can uh, initially when you are practicing, you can first write the impedance diagram for the given single line diagram shown and then you can omit all the resistors and magnetizing circuits. From that, you can get the reactance diagram. So, this is how we write uh, impedance diagram and reactance diagram for the given one line diagram. So, the very important next topic is per unit system. So, per unit system is basically uh, very useful and it is convenient when we do the analysis of power system because in power system uh, we have seen earlier there are many components in the system and we have to find out various currents and voltages and you know that uh, the voltage levels at a different points it is different. So, it will be very easy for us to convert, if we convert all the quantities whichever which is there in the system to per unit system. Okay. So, let us see what is per unit system. So, per unit system or PU system, the definition of this is uh, the per unit system can be given by uh, the ratio of the actual value of the quantity in any unit divided by the base or reference value in the same unit. So, let me take 5 amp of current and 15 amp of current and they say the base value for this value is 10 amp. So, the per unit value of the first one the per unit value of 5 amp current is given by the actual value of the quantity. What is actual value of the quantity? That is 5 amps. So, 5 amp divided by 
the base value in the same unit which is the base value given it is 10 amps so 10 amp so what will be the per unit value so it is 5 by uh, 10 it is 0.5 per unit 0.5 per unit so similarly let me calculate the per unit value of 15 amp current per unit value of 15 amp current so this will be equal to actual value which is nothing but 15 amp divided by the base value so this will be equal to 1.5 per unit so the per unit value of 5 amp current as uh, 0.5 and the per unit value of 15 amp current as 1.5 per unit which is based on the base value of 10 amp if you change the base value the per unit value also will vary so uh, in each and every numerical the base value will be given or we have to fix base value then we have to proceed with the solution similarly this can be applied for voltage also so if suppose i take voltage of 100 volt and say voltage of 200 volt and base value given is base value given is 200 volt so the per unit value per unit value of 100 volt is equal to actual value actual value is what 100 volt so 100 divided by base is given so it is 200 so it is half that is 0.5 per unit similarly per unit value of 200 volt can be given as 200 by 200 that is 1 per unit so this is about per unit system so per unit system can be applied for any quantity but the base value which you are taking to convert it into per unit value is uh, must also should be in the same unit so this is for today's video thank you